Hi, how are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we helped Thorum by defeating his enemies. Now he's gained his confidence back to lead his people once again. And today, we are going to be doing more quests in Storm Peaks. And we need to deal with these Valkyr, which have betrayed their kind and decided to join the Lich King. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good. Getting pretty damn excited that we will be 80 soon. And we'll get to, uh, for the end game of Wrath of Lich King. It's been a while since I've, uh, played some end game WoW. The last game I was, last time I was playing was back in TBC, so. Well, TBC Classic. <laughs> That would be a long, long time if it was TBC. So, like, uh, it's been... I'm gonna say close to six months. So I'm looking forward to getting back into it again. Oh, man. What's going on here? Looks like we were hitting these guys as well. Our starfire. Yeah, I'm not too sure what we'll do first. Probably just some heroic dungeons. Get some gear that way. And another thing we should try to do is uh, the Vault of Archivon. That'll be a fast way to get some, some gear. I'm not too sure if we'll be able to get into some Max Ramus runs. Unless somebody really just wants a Boomkin. But Max Ramus will be for sure our first step into uh, getting the gear that we need to catch up. And eventually, you know, step foot into Uldar and all the other raids that we want to get into. A trial the Crusader and eventually Ice Crown Citadel. And I'm not too sure what we'll be uh, raiding as. It's either going to be Rest of Druid or a Boomkin. Don't really mind which one I get. It would be fun to play Boomkin. It would be more chill. Healing can get pretty intense. I've always thought that if your raid has good healing, then your raid's gonna do just fine. Good healers really do carry raids. And they're hard to find. A blighted proto Drake. We need a vial of frost oil. I wonder how we get that. We need plagued proto drake eggs. Do we have to destroy them? Actually, got a quest here. It's the refiner's fire. Beneath the porous exterior, this hunk of metal gleams with mysterious quality. You feel it would only be prudent to burn off the slag at Fjorn's anvil. As you ponder where in this frozen waste you might find something hot enough for the job, a fire revenant crosses your path. Oh, damn it. Should have picked that up. Should have picked that up when we were over there. Maybe we'll head back that way and, and eventually finish it. Not too sure what we're supposed to do with these eggs. Let's check this out here. Use the vial of frost oil to destroy the eggs. Oh, okay, do we have any... Did we get any vials? Yeah, we did. Perfect. Okay, that's an easy quest. All right, here we go, guys. This will be a, a big pull here. Let's see if we can handle this. Oh my 
Oh, she's gonna be wild. I don't think we can do this. Maybe we can. They're all coming. Tight put them away. Tight. <laughs> this is awesome. They're out of mana now. Gotta start using our other spells. That was a bloodbath. What a bull. That's the life of a boomkin right there. So I think uh, it's crazy we're not even done the Valkyr quest after that. Better get some oil off these guys. Looks like we're getting a little bit. Yeah, they got completely wrecked. We'll deal with this with Spirit here. A couple more of these frost oils, and we should be able to uh, finish this quest. Get a lot in one big patch. Raise your eggs. <laughs> Let's see if our trends can deal with this plague drake. This drake looks pretty cool, though. It's an awesome mount. Should we pick? I don't really think it matters. Bunch of eggs over here. There we go. There we go, we got 30. That was a quick one. Now we just have a couple more Valkyr, and it looks like there's a quest over here for us to pick up. If this person's inside, it might be like an escort. What's going on in here? In a pretty damn dangerous place. Yulda the Storm Speaker. This is all about the harpoon crate. The crate is filled with incendiary harpoons. You recall seeing harpoon guns and dry stacks of hay outside. Perhaps Iva will appreciate the extra effort and reward you appropriately. All right. Guess that was a, was a pretty easy quest to do. We just got to turn it in. There's a Valkyr right there. Hope we can find like a bunch. Seems to only be one around. Fire started. So how do we start these fires? Valkyrian must burn. Well, the harpoon guns. Where the heck do we get harpoon guns? Must be up top. Use the harpoon guns. Do we have a, we don't have a harpoon gun on us. Oh, there they are. Alright, here we go. So what do we do? We just go up here and just shoot? I 
Do we have to be by the blue flame? Yeah, my bad, guys. Let's fill it with, with harpoons. So we have to find guns outside. I see the hay, but I just don't see the guns. Like we have the we have so we yeah we just need to find the guns. There they are. Oh, here we go. Let's get shooting. We're gonna get attacked. Maybe we can shoot harpoons at her. Doesn't look like it. She's destroying the gun. You're destroying the gun. Right, back on the harpoon. Trent's will deal with her. Actually, they won't deal with her. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you guys are joking with me. There we go. Boomkin on a harpoon. It's like inside the harpoon. There's another haystack down there. I didn't hit. It's gonna go a little further than they expect. Right there should hit. And there we go, we've set this place aflame. And I think that's it. And now we just gotta head back and turn in all these quests. It's gonna be a juicy amount of XP right there. And then I'm not too sure what we'll do next. We can either go back here to Dunniflum, the lake. A frozen lake and do this, or we can head up to uh, the Gromar's crash site. Maybe we'll go to Girl Marsh. Have our thanks, sister. We cannot allow a valiant, our valiant traditions to be corrupted. The Valkyr are nothing but the Lich King's lapdogs. They will be put down like the scum they are. They've made their choice. Now they have to live with the consequences. Not a bad chest. Pretty nice chest, but I'm not too sure if it's better than the chest we got. No stamina. It kind of sucks. Less armor, too. So what do we take? I guess we take the weapon. Sell it. Now that is what I call dedication. Those traders might have a new master now, but they'll never forget their sister's parting gift. They just love giving us, like, Agi gear. Like, leather Agi gear. Like, if you're a, a feral druid, it's like... You just get fed gear. And, like, if you're a boomkin, you just gotta wear cloth. It's good that we have, uh... Like, previous raid gear. Like, <laughs> helped out a lot. Yilda had it coming. No one gets away with insulting the Hiltzmeet. Not even one of our own. Alright, so there we go, guys. We are officially done.
with uh, the Hild, the Hilds, the Hilds people, <laughs> the Hilds woman. Let's see what we. Uh, what do they call this place? It's like yeah, Brunhildar. We're done with Brunhildar village. I guess we're gonna go back to uh, the crash site, guys. We'll see what's going on up there. That was a cool little quest chain. I like Bruno Hildar Village. Got to meet Thorum. And we got to check out that, like, bugged out quest. That I thought was pretty funny. Look at these guys. It would be awesome is if we, like, were flying around and we saw uh, the time loss proto Drake. I would, I would go crazy. Terrace of the Makers. Alright, so here we are. Looks like we're looking for an inventor's disc fragment, and there's a bunch of, like, robotic gnomes down here that we gotta fight. Alright, here we go. Feel the power. Trying to pull as much as we can. I should have put some hots up, but I forgot. So, let's do a little pull. Finish him. We already get it? Wow. Alright, so we got the inventor's disc fragment. Let's combine six of these. Got pretty lucky there. There we go. We got the item. So do, who do we turn this into? We have to do something with this item. We gotta talk to. Oh yeah, my bad. Gotta use the con that to contact Bran. So let's put that there for now. Let's right, see what Bran has to say. I can feel it. Travel safe. Did you complete the disc? That was quick. Now we have the disc. We have to find out how to use it to unlock the first half of the archive key. Keep your eyes on the horizon. That disc you assembled, it's blank. Keeper Mimir, the tinkerer who built this library, must have hidden the information elsewhere. Look around the inventor's library. Do you see any databanks there? That might be the disc's purpose. Try using it near some of those databanks. Perhaps it's set to retrieve and store information from them. After you've tried to hand your hand at that. Contact me again and let me know what you found. Meanwhile, I'll be trying to track down the other half of the archive key. Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Alright. So we have to gather the hidden data. It's not too bad. I don't know, there's another druid here doing it. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Hmm. We would be doing the same quest. I don't really know how to continue that, but yeah. There you go. Look at us. <laughs> Look at us go, guys. We're just doing the same quest. A couple druids. Just being druids, you know? Best class in the game. Living it up.
Those gnomes are on to us. I wonder where this guy went. Joins our group and then bails on us. Well, he invites us to. Trolling us right now. Give us the data. Stealing everyone's data. Data stolen. Alright, down here. Steal some more data. Oh, he's killing stuff over there. There he is. Thanks for the loot. I'm hooking us up. Yeah, this is actually way better that we grouped up. I hope I get that one too. Because this is a long cast, man. Get that data. It's a long cast. Okay, there we go. I think we both did it. You'll find me wherever Did you try you using the disc? What did you find? The truth is Fran looks at the disc as you hold it up. I can tell if there's anything stored there or not, lad. You'll have to tell me what happened. You described the data retrieval process. So it worked. At least we can count on Keeper Mirror to be systematic. Uh, don't do anything I would. Norgonon's shell is within our reach, flight carrier. Take the inventor's disc to the library's interior. There should be a console there that you can activate with the disc. I imagine Murmur stored more there than just Norgonon's shell. There are probably enough schematics stored there to keep Ironforge engineers occupied for years. Anyway, bring the disc to the console. Hopefully, Murmur hasn't decided to put any more obstacles in our Travel way. Safe. Yeah, that's a lot of obstacles he's putting in our way right now. It's time for us to go in here. The console appears to have an opening for the inventor's disc. You insert the disc into the console, suddenly lights on the surface illuminate and the mechanical voice speaks. Inventor's disc authenticated, welcome back, Keeper Murmur. Charging inventor's disc, disc charging completed. Preparing emergency protocol gamma, emergency protocol loaded. Please use the charge disc to activate the Guardian of Norganon's shell, Archivist Mechanon. The Archivist will release the shell once, you once your identity has been verified. Please have a pleasant millennium. Oh wow, look at this guy. Here we go, oh my gosh. Oh, by the light. Use of the inventor's disk detected. Emergency protocol gamma activated. Verifying status of Norganon shell. Norganon shell accounted for and secured. It will be available for transfer once the user's identity has been verified. Stand by to verify identity as Keeper Murmur. I stunned him. Identify identity verification failed. User is not Keeper Murmur. The inventor's disk has fallen into the hands of an unauthorized user. Activating defense protocol. Imposter must be dealt with. The inventor's disc must be recovered. Guess what? It's time for you to pay. Look at this. Look at this. This is a feral drill. There we go. GG. His name's Grey Hat, which means he's a wizard. Right? I 
think he's all right. Lords of forgotten knowledge. Did you find Orgonaut's shell? That's it. That's the first tap in Orgonaut's keystone. Well done, flight carrier. I've had had archaeologist Andorin on the lookout for clues to the shell's whereabouts for a long time. He's never going to believe me when I tell him it was an intrepid Torin who found it instead. That's right. Is that mace better? 242 spell power? It's pretty nice for a main hand mace. We'll take it. Keep your eyes on the horizon. The Earthen of Uldar. The Earthen who once inhabited, built, and maintained Uldor were ousted from their home when Loken took over the city. Since then, his Iron Dwarf followers have relentlessly attacked the exiles. They have taken refuge in an old Titan building, which they now call Boulder Crag's Refuge. On, a, on the face of a mountain west of the Inventor's Library, Boulder Crag and his brethren fight to keep the Irons from overrunning their haven, but they cannot hold their ground for long. Find and help them flag carrier. The truth is out there. Inquiring minds just got With Norganon's shell in hand, only half of the archive key remains to be found. Luckily, I've had the Explorers League hard at work chasing down leads about where, the whereabouts of Norganon's core. Far to the southeast of the Inventor's Library, on the slopes of the north of Dune Niflum, is a camp bearing my name. The Explorers League representatives seeking the second half of the key are based there. Bring me the maps and the notes they've made, and we should be able to track down the other key half. Uh, don't do anything, I. Okay, so I think he's already there. Now here we go to the sh snow drift plains. Is it in here? This is Murmur's workshop. Looks like it's below. It's on lower ground. And here we are, guys. Look at this guy. He looks like a badass. Boulder Craig the Rock Shaper. That looks cool. You're welcome here as a friend and ally of the Earthen. So you know Brand Bronzebeard then? He is our closest ally among those of the flesh. We are his brothers in the struggle against Loken and his followers in the light in the fight for Uldor. It seems so long ago that these hammers pounded the huge stone instead of iron. Our expulsion from Uldar saw the weakest of us dead and the strongest of us of our craftsmen reborn as warriors. As the irons beat us back, even the strongest find themselves failing. We can do little for the wounded, save when we have a stock of the enchanted earth. We used to mine it from the deposits on the sheer cliff face of the northwest. But the constant battle has prevented us from replenishing our stock. Would you help? All right here we go. Oh, he's over there again in the earth. Nice. That's where it is down here. such an easy quest for us. This could be tough without a mount, but I think you have to do all these quests with the mount. Pretty sure. Some of these quests you just can't do if you don't have a mount. Like, how would you get back up if you jumped down here? You have the hearth. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, the final one. Eat frost weave cloth. I have a bunch. I have a bunch. Where are you? I shall give. I shall give. Fellow druid. Where is he? How much? How much? Need like a stack? Here, let's give him 20. Five? Okay, whatever, let's give him five. There you go. Look at us. Look at us, man. Helping each other out. <laughs> Were you able to find any of the earth? This will allow us to patch up more of the fallen. Thank you, Flake here. On behalf of all who defend the refuge. Fighting back. The refuge defenders have done their best to blunt the Iron Dwarves' attacks, but we keep losing ground inch by inch. My men are hardly are hardy, but not tireless without reinforcements. It's only a matter of time until we will be overrun. Would you lend your skills to the refuge's defenses? It would greatly improve the morale of the defenders and give them and me hope for mounting a counterattack. Kill any of the Stormforged or their creations you encounter outside the refuge. Relief for the Fallen. The refuge defenders fight bravely, but they cannot keep up with our iron onslaught. With the earth you collected, I can make bandages to help heal the wounds of some of the Fallen. The more defenders we can patch up, the longer will last out there. Take these poultices and use them to heal the wounds of the fallen defenders outside the refuge. Get as many back into the battle as possible, Flight Carrier. Every casualty is one too many. Okay. Okay. Where are we heading to? Over here? Looks like he's already ahead of us. Doing this feral thing. Is that him? Who are we fighting? These guys? Then we gotta heal a couple, right? Get out of here. Heal him. We gotta heal eight of these guys. Let us fight irons together. Damn right we're gonna fight irons together. Doesn't look like he needs any help. This guy's on the ground, maybe we can help him. The earthen. I was certain I was going to die out here. Guys, okay. These healing quests, man. Wish I could just, you know, just give them a little rejuvenation. <laughs> They're good to go. Oh wow, they like turn into a boulder and roll into these guys. <laughs> that was pretty badass. Nope, oh, here they come. It's funny how the iron dwarves are like, uh... They're a lot like the dark iron dwarves of, uh... The Black Rock Mountain, they use these like little tunneling systems to move around. Get off of me. I gotta find the ones that are. Can't fly, I guess I'm in combat still. There you go, fight that guy. Is 
This is our final heal here. We can't fly. Maybe because Grey Hat's in a fight. Yeah, I wonder why we can't fly. Why are we in combat? It's gonna fight stuff, man. Like, let's get everything. Like, get them all. I wish Boomkin was like this in Classic. Like, well, Vanilla. It'd be so much better. There we go. Hit a 95 on that greed roll. Nice. Like, they should give Boomkin Starfall in Classic. It'd be a little OP, though. I think Boomkins would be a little too strong. They gave him Starfall. <laughs> You've given the defenders something to cheer about. Seeing the enemy fall by your hand has reinvigorated them and bolstered their courage. The warriors that you've healed will aid us in holding the line even longer. If we are to truly be free of the Iron Threat, we must find a way to strike at them behind the lines. To the southwest, on the western side of the Snowdrift Plains, the Iron Dwarves have dug a mine into the hillside. There they used to cap they used captive mechanomes, servants of Keeper Mirmer, to mine ore. I don't know where these mechanomes came from, nor what they would do with their freedom, but perhaps we can win their help. Go to the frozen mine flight carrier and set these creatures free from their bondage ask if they would fight alongside us against the iron dwarf tyranny dark ore at the frozen mine in the western part of the snowdrift plains the storm forged iron dwarves have constructed a mine manned by slaves it's well behind the lines so we haven't been able to find out much about what's going on there but my scouts have reported seeing them remove cartloads of dark sickly looking ore I wonder what that is. That might be the uh, the blood of Yogg-Saron. Maybe it's Serenite ore. I think that is the blood of Yogg-Saron, right? Pretty sure. I, mean, I gotta figure out where the heck we're going. What's well, all the way over there? What's this all about? I guess we'll do this first. And then we'll deal with the mechanomes. Oh yeah, we are getting close, guys. A little too close. <laughs> getting that pretty quick XP. Where the heck are these guys? Are they up here? This is it, right? It looks like he's below us. Is he down here? Oh, there it is. I'm going in. The frozen mine. Hey, give me... I'm not a laborer. What did I say to him? Attempt to free a mechanome. Oh, okay. Nice. I wonder how we're freeing them. You just tell them? Like, uh, go back to work before the overseer sees us. I'm not a laborer. I'm here to free you from your servitude in the mines. I wonder how we freed them. Get all this ore. And I think we gotta fight a couple, a couple of these guys in two more. Get off of them. 
Is that it? I think that might be it. Pretty sure. Yeah, now we just gotta get out of here and fly back. awesome. I wonder why they're building that. Just as like a monument? It's probably a weapon. I had hoped that more of the captives would choose to join us, but I do not blame them. Willing allies and are far and few between, and we are thankful that you have lent your blade to our cause. What have you discovered about the ore? Boulder Craig reaches out to take the ore, but then recoils. That ore, I can't touch it. It seethes with unnatural energy. No creature of stone can handle it. What do they mean to do with this? Gifts of Loken. The one who commands the Stormforge Iron Dwarves is called Runeseer of Vandalturan. Although I have never seen them, it is said that his master, Keeper Loken, who took over Uldar, has given Valderin powerful Titan artifacts. It could explain the strength and ferocity my men see in the Stormforge warriors. Valderin's base, Nidalvelet, lies to the southwest. Across the snowdrift plains, go there, fly here, and neutralize his power. Destroy these gifts of Loken, and help us sap the strength of his followers. Alright. Well, what I think I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to call it here. And next episode, we'll finish this quest chain up, and we're most likely going to hit level 80. So, that's going to be a pretty special episode. And that will be the end of this... Uh, this playthrough but it won't be the end of the playlist because we will continue with uh some end game content but as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later